Chapter 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Second. Hand married wife of a wealthy old man One Meng Yang felt his head hurt, very painful, and a little cold, because there was wind blowing, and rain was falling on him. Rain. Meng Yang wondered, why did the rain get on him? Shouldn't he be in the cave? After taking a deep breath, Meng Yang immediately determined that he was not in the cave, or even in the deep mountain under the cliff. Hello, are you okay? Looking at him like this, did you faint? Why is this man lying in the middle of the road? Maybe you drink too much. It's too dangerous, just don't take your life seriously. Meng Yang listened to the surrounding voices and slowly opened his eyes to a slit. Although his sight was blurred, he could still vaguely see a crowd surrounding him. He has been blind for so many years, how could he see it? It must be still in my dreams now. Wake up soon. Thinking about it, Meng Yang fell into a coma again. The day after Meng Yang woke up, he was taken home from the hospital. He leaned on the bedside and looked at the familiar room from time to time, and then squinted at the sunlight outside the window. He has been seeing things with his eyes for many years. After being blind for so many years, he now feels deeply that the feeling of being able to see is so beautiful. He never imagined that he had been waiting, waiting, waiting for fifteen springs, summers, autumns, and winters, when he would actually be reborn, waiting for a chance to come again, and he returned to the time when everything was still within reach. When he woke up in the hospital, he determined that it was not a dream, so he cried for a long time, and the nurse thought he was uncomfortable, called a doctor, and helped him with various examinations again. While Meng Yang was enjoying the visible feeling, the door of the room was slowly pushed open, and Meng Yang turned his head to look over, and immediately felt a sense of anger that he was hard to hold his neck and had difficulty breathing. Meng Yang, are you okay? Yu Junchen asked Meng Yang, looking worried and anxious. Meng Yang just looked at him expressionlessly, without answering his words. I received a call from my mother abroad, and I heard that you were hit by a car, and the person was still in the hospital. I almost died in a hurry, so I hurried back in advance. Yu Junchen walked to the bed and sat down, watching Meng Yang asked with concern. How do you feel now? Does your head still hurt? Meng Yang held back his hatred and anger and slowly shook his head. It's fine if you're fine. Yu Junchen sighed and said, Why are you so careless? Almost hit by a car on your birthday, Luo Sheng. Didn't he accompany you? As soon as Yu Junchen had finished speaking, Luo Sheng pushed the door in. He glanced at Yu Junchen before frowning at Meng Yang and saying, How old are you? How can you run to the road and lie down? Isn't it just because you didn't have a birthday with you? You must have a limit to your temper. He just came back from the hospital, and his body must still be very uncomfortable. Can't you talk to him properly? Yu Junchen looked a little angry and looked at Luo Sheng and said, I didn't tell you before I went abroad, do you have to accompany him for his birthday? Why didn't you accompany him? If you were with him, wouldn't he be nearly hit by a car? I wanted to accompany him for his birthday, but my grandfather suddenly called me over and said to have a family meeting. My uncles would dare not go, and I would never go. And I have told him, I'll help him make up his birthday later, who knows that he has such a big temper, he ran to the road and lay down. Luo Xing glanced at Meng Yang with an impatient look. Birthdays are every year, once but nothing. Big deal. Yu Junchen looked at Meng Yang and said, Meng Yang, since he didn't do it on purpose, don't be angry. It's just that I have a birthday in a few days, even if it's our two birthdays. Let's go together, okay it is good. I'll do it for you, just as I compensate you, let you do a lively event, and invite other friends to celebrate your birthday. Luo Sheng looked at Meng Yang and said, so are you always satisfied? Meng Yang sneered in his heart, thinking that the two of them sang a harmony, the acting was really good. He didn't have to concentrate, just breathing normally, and could smell the same shower gel smell on both of them. The two must have just come from the hotel together and came in like one after the other. 
I'm tired, I want to rest. You guys are busy with you. Meng Yang said weakly, then pretended to be very tired and lay down with his eyes closed. Yu Junqin and Luo Xin glanced at each other, then Yu Junqin stood up and said. Then take a good rest, if you want to eat, just tell me, I'll do it for you. After Yu Junqin finished speaking, he saw Meng Yang as if he was asleep, and did not reply. He glanced at Luo Xin again, and then the two went out together. Luo Xin did not leave immediately, but went to Yu Junqin's room. After entering the room, Yu Junqin said guiltily. I grew up with Meng Yang since I was a child. I know what kind of character he is, and his temper comes and goes quickly, even if he is angry, and soon healed, the more silent he is, the more sad he is. We should end. Should end do it on his birthday, since he wants to talk to you you should meet his wish for his birthday alone. I don't even want to be alone with him now. Every time I eat alone with him, all I think about is my mind. What I love now is that you are not him, if you don't love, you don't love, just because of him, we can't be together in a fair and decent way. I think we have considered his feelings very much, and there is nothing sorry for him at all. I still make it clear to him as soon as possible, that we can get together well and continue to be friends in the future. I have tried him many times, he really loves you, and it is impossible to easily agree to break up with you. Yu Junqin said, holding his forehead weakly, we are sorry for him first, after all, still find a way to minimize the damage to him from this incident. I only had a relationship with him, and I didn't get married. Even if I got married, I could still divorce without feelings. Now that I want to break up with him, can't he break up if he doesn't agree? Luo Sheng said with some anger and some helplessness. Can't you also care about my feelings? And your own feelings, can you be a little selfish, don't be so kind and considerate for others everywhere. Of course I care about how you feel, but now. Yu Junqin said, holding Luo Sheng's hand and leaning his head on his shoulder. It's not the best time for you to break up with him. Wait a second. Wait, wait for a while to talk about it. I can't wait, I have to make it clear to him as soon as possible. Luo Sheng said with a serious face. I don't want to sneak on with you anymore. I want everyone to know that I love you. But. Even if you break up with Meng Yang now, we can't be together publicly, otherwise, with Meng Yang's temper, I don't know what will be done. Yu Junqin looked at Luo with a praying look. Sheng said. It's just for me, at least wait a year or two, then break up with him, and then when I'm about to graduate, we will be together again. At that time, his feelings for you must also be weak. By now, we can accept the two of us more quickly, and will not feel the harm of betrayal, is it good for everyone? Luo Sheng and Yu Junqin looked at each other for a while, hugged him tightly, and said helplessly. You really know how to torture me, and you know that I will do whatever I want for you. Thank you. Yu Junqin held Luo Sheng's face and kissed him. After kissing for a while, the two began to take off each other's clothes. Meng Yang closed his eyes and recalled what happened in the last life. He fell in love with Luo Xing at first sight, and then actively pursued him. After seeing him several times, Luo Xing also liked him very much, so the two began to communicate. Yu Junqin was the son of his stepmother and ex-husband. After his parents divorced, his father married Yu Junqin's mother. The two grew up together and the relationship was not bad. After he communicated with Luo Sheng, Yu Junqin and Luo Sheng also knew each other, but what Meng Yang did not know was that Yu Junqin also fell in love with Luo Sheng at first sight. Sheng gets along, but in the end, he still can't control his feelings, and he gets ambiguous with Luo Sheng. Meng Yang has a very delicate and beautiful face, but his character and temper are not very good. Although Yu Junqin looks not as good as Meng Yang, it is also good. The main thing is that his temper is particularly good. And he is very observant and considerate, and he also knows how to take good care of others' emotions. Luo Xing feels that if Meng Yang's face and Yu Junqin's temperament and character are the perfect lover, 
Originally Luo Xing felt that the two had their own advantages and it was difficult to make a choice, but gradually, Luo Xing felt that he had fallen in love with Yu Junchen who was destined to fall in love with each other. So in the year of Meng Yang and Yu Junchen's sophomore year, Luo Xing broke up with Meng Yang, but Meng Yang disagreed and tried various ways to save Luo Xing. After Luo Xing and Yu Junchen were together, he only happened to hear the conversation between his father and stepmother. He learned that Luo Sheng and Yu Junchen were already together. The double betrayal and blow made him completely the two broke up and stood opposite them. A lot of things happened in the middle, but the final result was that Luo Sheng put poison on Meng Yang in order to cover up Yu Junchen's framing, and after thinking that he was dead, let his men throw him to the cliff of the deep mountain. Below. After being thrown off the cliff, he was not dead because he was blocked by a big tree, but because of the poison, he spent fifteen spring, summer, autumn and winter alone blind, deaf and dumb. In the past few years, it was really a painful life like struggling in hell. It was the hatred and the wait for another person that supported him and made him die like that. Later, I gradually got used to that kind of life, and also mastered the way to survive, but also live like a beast. Since God gave him a chance to come back again, all the pain he has experienced, this life, he will give them back. The author has something to say. Open a new article, I hope everyone can support it, thank you. Chapter 2 You are listening at novelfull.audio Second. Hand married wife of a wealthy old man too after Meng Yang got on Lu Yunjing's car, Lu Yunjing looked at him and asked, Are you saying yesterday that you want to have a birthday with Lu Oxing alone? Why did you suddenly go to the hospital, how did the test result go? No big problem. Drive first, and say while driving. Meng Yang buckled his seatbelt and said. Where do you want to go? Do you want to eat? Lu Yunjing asked. Just find a place to sit down. Meng Yang said. What's going on? Lu Yunjing asked while driving the car. Nav Om Luo Xing didn't accompany me on my birthday yesterday. I drank too much by myself and accidentally ran to the road and fell asleep. The people passing by thought I was in a coma, so I called the hospital and let the ambulance pick me up, I was not injured. Luo Xing does not accompany you for your birthday, but you call me, what are you drinking? Lu Yunjing said angrily. Luo Sheng and Yu Junchen were carrying me together. Meng Yang said quietly. Lu Yunjing gave Meng Yang a shocked look and said, Really? Really? You only learned about their affairs, so you borrowed alcohol to eliminate worry. Meng Yang didn't answer in silence, because he was born before rebirth, just because Luo Xing didn't accompany himself to celebrate his birthday and borrowed wine to relieve his worries, not because he knew what Luo Sheng and Yu Junchen were doing. According to the development of the previous life, he about three years later, I learned that Luo Sheng and Yu Junchen were actually together. I feel that the two of them seem to have something wrong, but the uncertain things are not easy to talk about. Lu Yunjing also said angrily in his heart. What do you plan to do next? Meng Yang said. After a few days on Jun Chen's birthday, I am going to send them an unforgettable gift. There is one more thing that needs your help. What are you talking about? I want to borrow your family's Chashan Villa to hold a birthday party. Lu Yunjing thought for a while, then understood Meng Yang's meaning, and then said, I know, I will prepare it for you. Yunjing. Meng Yang looked at the front and said very firmly. From now on, my brain is controlled by myself. I want to live according to my own ideas. Did your brain be controlled by others before? Lu Yunjing was puzzled by his words. Meng Yang closed his eyes and recalled all the things that happened in the previous life, and the man in the previous life was stupid and miserable. After Meng Yang told Lu Yunjing the specific plan, the two went to dinner together, and then Lu Yunjing sent Meng Yang home. As soon as Meng Yang was about to enter the house, Luo Xing's car drove in outside the door. Meng Yang. After Yu Junchen got off the bus, he quickly walked towards Meng Yang and asked, Where have you been? 
why didn't you answer the phone? We are looking for you everywhere. Meng Yang adjusted his facial expression, then turned around and looked at Yu Junqin with a smile and said, I have eaten with Yun Jing, have you eaten it? We. Yu Junqin looked back at Luo Sheng who was going this way, and then said. We have been looking for you everywhere, and we haven't had time to eat dinner. Meng Yang sneered again in his heart. He could tell from the smell of Yu Junqin that he had just eaten those foods. I said what's wrong with you? Luo Sheng looked at Meng Yang angrily and said. Is it interesting to make others worry about you or what? You have to run out of other people's concern for you and wait for you to have something wrong. Now, when no one wants to take care of you, are you happy? Forget Luo Sheng. Yu Junqin habitually grabbed Luo Sheng's hand. When he just wanted to persuade him, he was suddenly surprised by his movements, then immediately let him go and quickly peeked. A glance at Meng Yang's expression found that there was no change in Meng Yang's expression, so he deliberately pretended to be on Meng Yang's side and said, Can't you talk to him properly? Just now I was very worried about him, now can't you be honest with this kind of angry look on purpose? I have something to tell you. If you haven't finished your meal, let the kitchen prepare a few dishes for you. You eat and let's talk. Meng Yang turned and walked in. Go. After they entered the house, Meng Yang asked the maid to inform the kitchen chef to cook some of the dishes that Jun Chen usually likes to eat, and then sat down with the two of them in the dining room, while waiting for the dishes and telling them about the birthday party. When I went to dinner with Yun Jing today, he knew that I was going to make up for a birthday party, and he said he would lend us his villa on Cha Shan for our birthday party. Really? Yu Jun Chen was a little surprised, and then said with a smile. It seems that he really treats you as a friend, actually willing to lend you Cha Shan Villa for a birthday party. We have villas in the mountains, on the beach, on the island, in the urban area, or we can do it in our hotel, there is no need to have a birthday party in their tea villa. Luo Xing said. Yu Junqin went to Lu Yunjing's Cha Shan Villa with Meng Yang before. They liked it very much. They wanted to stay for a few days to find inspiration, but Lu Yunjing refused, saying that it s only that the villa cannot be borrowed casually. In fact, the reason why Lu Yunjing didn't borrow it was because he didn't like Yu Junqin very much, but because of Meng Yang's relationship, he never said it. Yu Junqin was rejected several times, and of course he was lost in his heart. He talked to Luo Xing about it. Luo Xing felt that Lu Yunjing was a little family, but it was a villa, and he was unwilling to stay for a few days, so he also hated it. Lu Yunjing got up. The so dot called unavailable is the best. According to the development of the previous life, because Yu Junqin has always missed the Lushan Chashan villa, Luo Xing later used some means to get the Lujia villa and gave it to him. Yu Junqin. In this life, Meng Yang will never let the same happen again. It's true that the birthday party can be held anywhere, but this is Yun Jing's birthday present for me. His heart is so good that I can't refuse it. I also think that Jun Chen also likes that tea mountain villa very much, so I agreed. Meng Yang looked at Yu Jun Chen and said. Since it's the two of us having a birthday together, wouldn't it be better to choose a place we all like, what do you say? Yu Junqin nodded in agreement and said. You have a point, since Yun Jing's heart is indeed difficult to refuse, let's do it in their Chashan villa. Luo Xing saw that Yu Junqin wanted to hold a birthday party at the Lushan Chashan villa, so he didn't say anything. After the dishes were all served, Meng Yang immediately said. You are hungry, eat quickly, I'm so sorry, I didn't notice that the phone is out of power, let you find me for so long, eat more. Meng Yang kept picking dishes for the two to let them eat more, while discussing with them how to do the birthday party. Yu Junqin and Luo Xing came back after they were full, but since they had to pretend to find Meng the foreign rice didn't have time to eat, and now I can only eat it daringly. After Luo Xing left, Yu Junqin also used the excuse that he was tired, and then returned to the room to rest. His stomach was really uncomfortable, and he was going to take some pills for digestion. 
Meng Yang looked at almost the same meal at a table and sneered, then got up and went back to the room to rest. A few days later, on the day of Yu Junchen's birthday, Meng Yang received a call from Lu Yunjing early in the morning, saying that everything was ready and waiting for them to come. This time Meng Yang and Yu Junchen had a birthday together. In addition to inviting some of their common friends, Lu Oxing also invited some of his friends to come over. In the parking lot at the foot of Lujia Chashan, many luxury cars have been parked one after another. After Meng Yang entered the villa, Lu Yunjing took them to visit all the places that had been rearranged for the birthday party. Thank you for being so troublesome, Yunjing. Yu Junchen smiled and thanked Lu Yunjing. You're welcome, it's my birthday present to Meng Yang and you. I'll say yes first. I haven't prepared any other gifts. Lu Yunjing said jokingly. This is better than any birthday present. Yu Junchen said very moved. Go, take you to the room on the top floor to see. After reaching the top floor, Lu Yunjing pushed open the door of the room, walked in and said. This room can see at least half of the tea mountain, whether it is bathing or lying in bed at night, you can look up at the stars and the moon, and these glasses, you can see the outside from the inside, but you see and see the inside from the outside, so it's okay to sleep naked. But there is only one room like this, you two sleep tonight. Meng Yang looked around the room, and then intentionally said to Jun Chen in a tone of pain and pain. Although today is my birthday with you, it is actually you who is today's birthday, so I will let you come live. Really live for me. Yu Jun Chen suppressed the joy in his heart, pretending to be humble, if you want to live, you don't need to give it to me specifically. Isn't it just a glass flower room? Do you have to let it come and go? Luo Xing leaned against the door with his hands and looked at Yu Junchen. Since Meng Yang let you live, then you live, you are welcome with him. Luo Xing saw that Yu Junchen really wanted to live, so he deliberately behaved like Meng Yang himself, and let Yu Junchen live for Meng Yang. Although he could not see how good this room was, he did not know how many times a villa in his house was better than here. Anyway, he could not feel the beauty of artistic conception and natural beauty that Yu Junchen said, and he did not realize anything. Inspiration, but since Yu Junchen wants to live, then he must find a way to make him live. Then I won't be polite to you. Yu Junchen's eyes shone with joy that could not be concealed, and then turned and walked to the glass wall to look out. Meng Yang and Lu Yunjing exchanged a quick look. The author has something to say. It was originally planned to be updated next month. After all, there are not many manuscripts now, and procrastination attacks occur. There is no way to concentrate on manuscripts by doing other things. So I thought, there will be pressure after starting the update and the pressure will make you more motivated and more attentive, so I updated in advance. To be honest, although the outline has been changed many times, I still have a little lack of confidence. I only hope that this book is not too powerful, so that I can write longer. I hope everyone can support, Bao, Zinwenkiu Collection. By Yueguang Su Shuang's life, quick wear, ignored the air of a wealthy man, wearing a book, and article recommended. Supporting Aura, Quickware, Open Hanging Love System, Quickware, Cannon Fodder Cheating System, Fastware. Chapter 3 You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Second. Hand Married Wife of a Wealthy Old Man 3 The friends who came to the two people's birthday party came to say hello to Meng Yang and Yu Junchen, and then they gave birthday gifts. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, this is a gift for you, I hope you like it. Thank you. Meng Yang and Yu Junchen smiled and thanked them, then took the gift and put it away. Your feelings are so good, you should even have a birthday together. Yeah, my relationship with my brother is not so good. It is Meng Yang who is willing to accommodate me and take my birthday as his birthday together. Yu Junchen said with a smile. Emotions are mutual, and you guys know me. Others are kind to me. I want to double back. Jun Chen often tells me that even if everyone betrays me, he will stand firm. 
supporting me behind me will never do anything that betrays me. Even if it is for his repeated promises to me, I must be good to him. Yu Junchen smiled, but the smile was a little reluctant, and he also had a special guilty conscience. After Meng Yang's mom divorced his dad, he died shortly afterwards, and his dad soon married Yu Junchen's mom. Yu Junchen was at the Meng family when he was 10 years old. He lived a very hard life before he was 10 years old. After arriving at the Meng family, he lived a life that he could not dream of before, and his mother told him that he wanted to if you want to live this kind of life, you must please Meng Yang. Meng Yang's mom is a strong woman. Meng Yang's dad is a buddy. Although Meng Yang's mom has been busy with her career, she actually knows clearly that Meng Yang's dad has always maintained a certain relationship with his first love, but in order to the complete family, she chose to pretend not to know. When Meng Yang was nine years old, Meng Yang's mother suddenly proposed a divorce, and then handed over the management of the company to the deputy general manager, and transferred all the properties and shares under her name to Meng Yang's name and the bank. After signing an agreement for management, Meng Yang was free to deal with it after he became an adult, and then within a few months, Meng Yang's mother died. This country is 16 years old and can be married at 18 years old. Meng Yang is now 19 and has long been in control of the economy, so everyone living in Meng Yang's house lives on Meng Yang. But they knew that Yu Junchen and Luo Sheng were together early in the morning, but they concealed him alone, and still depended on him to take care of him. When Yu Junchen faced Meng Yang, he actually had a low self-esteem, because Meng Yang was rich and truly his own money, and Meng Yang looked better than him, and there were so many people turning around him. Friend Yu Junchen always begged Meng Yang, looking for opportunities to join Meng Yang's circle of friends, and then slowly became better with him. After all the friends arrived, Lu Yunjing had the cake pushed out, and then Meng Yang and Yu Junchen wished to blow candles. Meng Yang made Yu Junchen make a wish alone on the grounds that he had made a wish on his birthday, and thought in his heart that for him, being able to be born again is the best wish to be fulfilled. The first wish, I hope our family can be healthy and safe, the second wish, I hope. Yu Junchen looked at Meng Yang and said. I hope Meng Yang can be happy, the third wish. The third wish Yu Junchen did not say, but closed his eyes and thought in his heart, he hoped that he could love Luo Sheng for life. Yu Junchen blew out the candle, and in the cheers of others, he kept smiling. And Luo Sheng has been standing behind others against the wall, watching Yu Junchen with tender eyes full of love. Everyone ate, drank, and talked. After the banquet, because it was too late, everyone stayed overnight. This villa is quite large, and two or thirty people can live. Meng Yang waited for a while in his room before receiving Lu Yunjing's call. The fish has entered the net, can I start? Get started. Meng Yang said. Meng Yang and Yu Junchen's friends, as well as Luo Sheng's friends, had already gone to bed and were about to go to bed, but were suddenly awakened by the knock on the door, and then somehow were taken outside the room on the top floor. It's really embarrassing to disturb everyone's rest, Meng Yang said with a sorry expression. But I actually prepared a gift for Jun Chen today, I want to surprise him, I hope everyone can witness this scene together, soon it will end and let everyone go back to sleep, please be patient. After Meng Yang finished speaking, he turned to face the countdown of the wooden wall. Three, two, one. After the countdown of Meng Yang ended, the wall in front of him suddenly opened to both sides, and then the sound of dry ice jets and the sound of continuous color cannons sounded. In the glass flower room, the two people who were hugging and lying on the bed were startled by this movement, and turned their heads to look at it, and then they were both stunned. They looked at Meng Yang in shock, and Meng Yang was back. To other people, he was very calm, so calm that he didn't have any expression on his face. Meng Yang walked towards them step by step. Others were shocked when they saw such a scene. You looked at me and I looked at you, but I couldn't react for a long time. Meng Yang walked over to the bed and looked at them and said, This birthday gift is not bad. 
Do you like it? You deliberately. Luo Sheng looked at Meng Yang angrily. Yes, I did it on purpose, but I also do it for your good, so that you can be together publicly, don't you? Meng Yang said with a mocking expression. Meng Yang, listen to my explanation. We want to tell you when we find the most suitable time because we don't want to hurt you. We didn't intentionally want to hide you. Yu Junchen explained with tears in his eyes. So you think, as long as you find the right time to tell me, you have already carried me back together, is it not hurting me? Meng Yang looked at Yu Junchen with a ridiculous look. I don't love you anymore. Who I am with is my freedom. What rights and qualifications do you have to blame us? It's really good to say, at least it's much stronger than the reason that Yu Junchen just said. Although thee is so straightforward, but at least admit that he is scum, good, good. Meng Yang clapped several times and applauded for him. Actually, you guys have been carrying me together for a long time. At the beginning, you feel that this sneaky feeling is very exciting, so you don't want to say it. Then you think you really love each other and want to be together in public, but you I did the betrayal but didn't want to bear the reputation of betrayal, so I plan to break up with me first, and then you will make it public, so that in the eyes of others, you do and have any place to be sorry for me, am I right? Meng Yang, I'm sorry, we, we do, we should make it clear to you earlier. Yu Junchen looked at Meng Yang with a guilty face and said, We really don't want to hurt you, but there is no way for our feelings control, we are in love. Meng Yang interrupted him, then looked at him and said, If you do what you do, you just admit it or not. It's disgusting to stand up again. Meng Yang turned to look at the others and said, How about this scene? Isn't it wonderful? You can remember these pictures for a lifetime. Later, Luo Sheng will put on a racket in front of you, and Yu Junchen will act in front of you again. When you are kind-hearted, you can mock your outfit in your heart. Others dared not offend Luo Sheng, bowing their heads and looking down, but they thought it was a good note in their hearts. Meng Yang Luo Sheng gritted his teeth and said, You will regret what you did today. Meng Yang turned sharply and looked at Luo Sheng and said, Want to make me regret? Even though it's better to let the horse come, let's wait and see, in the end who is more regretful. Others returned to their rooms after Meng Yang left. They are now in a state of excitement and sleeplessness, and see and wait to describe what happened just now, so this matter will spread as quickly as possible. The wooden wall closed slowly, and when Luo Sheng and Yu Junchen were left in the glass flower room, Luo Sheng jumped out of bed and smashed all the things that could be smashed, but still could not relieve the anger in his heart. And Yu Junchen cried in his arms and kept crying. Luo Xing didn't care about the reputation of betrayal, the rich children who didn't have a few tangled feelings, but he was an extremely face-loving person. This kind of being caught in bed and being surrounded by people is a thing that makes him very faceless. And Yu Junchen is most afraid of being underestimated and despised, even if those people are because of Luo Sheng's relationship, they may not show it in front of him, but they do and know what to say behind him, and no matter what he does afterwards, they all he will certainly mock him in his heart, hypocritically. Lu Yunjing went into Meng Yang's room, looked at him and asked, Do you feel angry? L.rg outgassing. Meng Yang poured himself a glass of wine to Lu Yun and sat down. This level can only be regarded as a small punishment. The real outgassing is still behind. Lu Yunjing did not know what Meng Yang had experienced in his previous life, so Meng Yang could not explain to him how much he hated and hated Luo Sheng and Yu Junchen. From the last life, the only thing he loved deeply was the man who had warmed him. Sorry, you are also involved. It doesn't matter, Lu Yunjing shrugged and said, since I promised to help you, naturally I'm not afraid to offend Luo Sheng, let alone how he can treat me. Lu Yunjing's grandpa is a very powerful person. As long as his grandpa is there, Luo Sheng cannot treat Lu Yunjing. In the previous life, it was also because of the sudden death of Lu Yunjing's grandfather that Luo Sheng's grandfather had an opportunity for the Lu family. 
But in this life, Meng Yang will change all regrets piece by piece. Chapter 4 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The rich second wife of the rich old man for the next day, Meng Yang returned home with the people who moved the company. As soon as he entered the house, he saw that everyone in this family was waiting for him. When they saw Meng Yang coming in, they felt a little embarrassed. Meng Yang was too lazy to pay attention to them, and took people directly upstairs to pack his important things and then moved away. L.R.G. After Meng Yang led people upstairs, his father, stepmother, and Yu Junchen followed carefully to see what Meng Yang brought so many people to do. They thought that Meng Yang brought someone to throw Jun Chen's things out, but he saw him take him into his own room and told three of them who needed to be packed and taken away. Several other people went to his mother's study. There are some very important things in this study, so there are two kinds of locks, password and key. Only Meng Yang can open this door. Meng Yang, are you planning to move out? Zhao Wan and Yang Su glanced at each other, then looked at Xiang Meng Yang and continued, Meng Yang, I know you are angry, but we really are I didn't want to hurt you, so I kept concealing you, and things like emotions cannot be forced. Did I say who am I trying to force? Meng Yang interrupted her and said, if you want to see it, stand still and don't stop them from moving things. Meng Yang. This thing is clearly what you did too much. Yang Su said with his father's majesty and posture. Ranging Luo Sheng, whether it is for you or the company, is very uncomfortable. Reasonable thing. Besides, Luo Sheng did not marry you. Whoever he wants to be with is his freedom, even if he is not Jun Chen, it will be other people. You should be glad that Jun Chen is with him, otherwise you will this kind of thing, the company is going to be destroyed in your hands, do you know? Every word you say makes me feel sick, can you shut up? Meng Yang said blankly. Meng Yang, I know this matter to you is definitely unacceptable for a while. In fact, Jun Chen is very guilty and uncomfortable in his heart, and it is already a punishment for you to let so many people talk about him mocking him. He has passed. Luo Sheng is now particularly angry. Jun Chen has already asked you to intercede with Luo Sheng. You can apologize to Luo Sheng in person and let him calm down. Even if this matter has passed, okay. Zhao Wan and Yang Su sing a white face and a black face one by one, both soft and hard to Meng Yang, both want him to apologize to Luo Sheng in person, let Luo Sheng save some face, but also want him not to care about Jun Chen, let Yu Jun Chen can continue to live in this home. Meng Yang's mother took over from his maternal grandfather. This company mainly deals in perfumes, aromatherapy, essential oils and other products. Although it is not a big company or a big brand, it is also a small old brand in the industry because of its high cost performance, so it is very popular with ordinary people. Meng Yang's mother is very good at doing business, but he didn't inherit his grandpa's gift in perfumery. Meng Yang is also the same. Although he learned the knowledge of perfumery from a young age, his talent in perfumery can only be considered okay. The sense of smell is not particularly sensitive, and the quotient is not very high, which is completely incomparable with Yu Junchen, who later won the title of perfume genius. Meng Yang's grandfather left more than 50 books to his mother on perfumery, incense, and aromatherapy, which were handed down from generation to generation by the Meng family ancestors. The contents recorded in the book are all upset, some are still replaced by symbols. When Meng Yang was young, his mother taught him the correct way, and told him that he must never forget. But in the previous life, although Meng Yang was correct, because the sense of smell is not sensitive enough, and the sense of smell is not a very high reason, he cannot understand and understand the profound content of the book. But after rebirth, Meng Yang went to read these books again and found it easier to understand. In the previous life, Meng Yang felt disappointed because he could not understand the contents of the book, and felt disappointed with his mother's hopes and sustenance. Yu Junchen said he would help him when he knew it, and because he trusted Yu Junchen, it was really stupid enough to write these things that must not be circulated in the correct order and show it to Yu Junchen. 
Later, Yu Junchen became a very famous perfumer and aromatherapist at a young age. These things played a key role. In this life, Yu Junchen has only read the contents of two of them, and only the contents of these two books have greatly benefited Yu Junchen, who has a great fragrance, even before he has entered the university. He has been selected as a disciple by the famous perfume master Su Wangya, and occasionally will be brought to Jun Chen when he goes to other countries to participate in the display and purchase of raw materials. Standing in front of the study, Yu Jun Chen saw Meng Yang personally pack those ancient books carefully, and then put them in the anti-theft box with a combination lock, ready to be moved away. He was immediately anxious because he had a hunch since then, he can no longer know anything in those books. Meng Yang, all wrongs, all my faults, I apologize to you, can I kneel down for you? Yu Junchen really kneeled at the door, he looked at Meng Yang eagerly and prayed. I beg you, as long as you can forgive me and ask me to apologize. I will move out of this house. I will and come back if you do and get angry, okay? Zhao Wan watched Yu Junchen kneel and apologize to Meng Yang. He was very distressed. He was angry and said to Meng Yang. Meng Yang, Jun Chen has already knelt down to admit you wrong. What else do you want? Is this justified? Yeah Meng Yang. Meng Yang's aunt also said. It's all a family, why make things so ugly? Jun Chen has so begged you, forgive him, Luo Xing loves Jun Chen does not love you, it, s not Jun Chen, s fault. In fact, we all think that even if you are in love with Luo Sheng, you may not be able to marry him, and Luo Sheng obviously obviously loves Jun Chen, and the possibility of Jun Chen marrying Luo Sheng. It s also bigger, so we re hiding from you, it s also for you and the company. Meng Yang automatically blocked all the words they said, and asked the people in the moving company to move all the packed things away. Those people crossed Yu Junchen's body, put the anti-theft box on the cart outside, and then pushed the cart directly into the elevator. Meng Yang Yu Junchen was even more anxious when he saw that the books had been moved away. I will break up with Luo Sheng. As long as you can forgive me, I will never see him again. I make sure I will clean up with Luo Sheng. Please do and move out. At last, Meng Yang checked the study to see if there was anything falling, and after confirming that everything that had to be taken out had been moved out, he walked out and said, I have sold this house, you have two days you can move your things away in two days. The house will be owned by others in two days. If you do and leave, do and blame me for not calling you. What are you talking about? Yang Su looked at Meng Yang in shock and angrily and said, you sold the house. This is the house I bought with your mother, I am your father. You didn't even pass me dare to sell the house if you agree. Zhao Wan was not in a hurry, so he quickly followed Meng Yang and said, Meng Yang, you are really going too far. Although you are an adult, but your dad is still there, how can you not go without his consent just sell the house? And you sold the house, where do we live? Where do you love to live and where do you have anything to do with me? Isn't your son with Luo Xing now? One of the properties of the Luo family is the real estate business. In addition to more money, there are more houses. The younger master of the Luo family, just give you a villa or mansion, why bother to live in my house? Zhao Wan and Yu Junchen's face was even more ugly because of Meng Yang's words. If they really lived in the house sent by Luo Sheng, then Yu Junchen would go from being associated with Luo Sheng to being adopted by Yu Junchen, this is completely different. If Yu Junchen had the reputation of being fostered, not only would they be looked down upon, but the Luo family and Luo Xing's grandfather would not agree to marry the two of them. Yu Junchen didn't expect Meng Yang to do so absolutely, even the house was sold, he quickly followed Meng Yang downstairs, looking at Meng Yang pale and said. Meng Yang, what do you want me to do? As long as you say it, I will do it. Meng Yang sneered and said, I have sold the house, and I have finished talking about it. After that, whatever you want to do, you have to rely on me to support me. My days are over. 
you should also learn self.reliance. Meng Yan. Yu Junqin stopped to leave Meng Yan. You are taking your own future, and the whole company is at the expense of anger, do you know? I know I'm sorry for you, I can apologize to you, I can compensate you, but I sincerely hope that you do and take my mistakes in exchange for punishment for yourself. Being a human being, sometimes don't look down on yourself too much, do you really think that Luo Sheng is so powerful that he wants to treat me like that? Can you do it? You still have to worry about where you should live afterwards, Meng Yang finished. He strode away. Stop for me. This is my house, who will allow you to sell it? You will stop for me. Yang Su yelled and chased. Zhao Wan sat on the sofa with his legs soft, and then looked at Yu Junchen and asked, Will this affect your marriage to Luo Sheng? What should I do? Yu Junchen sat down with an ugly face. He didn't know what to do for now, so he had to talk to Luo Sheng. Yang Sugang just caught up with Meng Yang. Meng Yang had already drove away. He could only walk back to the house in a hurry. When Meng Yang's mother and Yang Su divorced, Yang Su also got some property, but Yang Su started to make various investments in order to prove his ability, but all the investments failed, and all the money was lost. Now Meng Yang has sold the house, and will not be responsible for all their expenses. It can be said that the bottom of the kettle will be drawn. The gap between Jun Chen and Luo Sheng will be widened at once. Brother, Meng Yang sold the house, where do we live in the future? Meng Yang's aunt was in a hurry and scolded angrily. This Meng Yang is also too tempered, and his heart is too cruel. I do and even care about your dear dad and sold the house. What can I do? Don't move. This is my house, and I definitely won't move. Yang Su gritted his teeth. Meng Yang has completed all the transfer procedures. This house has already changed owners. They can't help but move them. The author has something to say. I forgot that it is May 1st next week, so I see and apply for the list. I see and update too many words before I am on the list, so the next chapter will be updated every two days. I'm really sorry for not confirming the good time. This happened again, and I do ain't know what to say, alas. Chapter 5 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Second. Married married wife of a wealthy old man 5 by the spring of next year, Meng Yang, and they will start to enter the university. Although the usual grades and performances are the key to deciding which university a student can go to for the exam, the graduation exam must also be taken. You cannot take the college exam without taking the graduation exam. On the day of the graduation exam, Yu Junchen walked into the classroom, and the students who were chatting all looked at him, and then took out their mobile phones and started to communicate. After sitting down pretending to be calm, Yu Junchen took out his tablet and started to review, but in fact he didn't read a word. He knew that from now on, he had to get used to those strange eyes. He would use his own strength to prove that even if he had no money and no background, his personal abilities could match Luo Sheng. Yu Junchen has been comforting himself in his heart. Even if he is being discussed and looked down on from his heart, it is only temporary, so it does not matter, he can bear it. After he proves his ability and marries Luo Sheng, everything will change. Yu Junchen and Meng Yang are usually not brothers than brothers. I didn't expect to do anything to rob someone's boyfriend. Yeah, it's pretty good in plain fashion. It's a gentle, kind and upright look, but the result is not such a disgusting thing as being a small third. Yes, this kind of people with different appearances is the most disgusting. If he directly said that he also likes Luo Sheng, and if he wants to compete with Meng Yang fairly, I wouldn't look down on him that much but he chose the best method and way of doing things, when he had ain't broken up with others's boyfriend got together, and then looked good with Meng Yang, really shameless. I want to say, people like him are the most terrible. You must never make deep friendships, otherwise he seems to be very good with you on the surface, and you do ain't know how many knives you stabbed. Yeah, this kind of person must not really have a relationship with him. 
When Meng Yang entered the classroom, the students also looked at him at the same time, and then the typing speed became faster. Meng Yang looks normal, but in fact it must be uncomfortable that I s not this nonsensical. It s going to be uncomfortable for someone who I like to the person I like. I just saw a message from another chat group that Meng Yang sold all his houses. It seems that this is to completely sever the relationship with Yu Junqian. But I think Meng Yang's way of debunking Luo Sheng and Yu Junqian is too irrational. Isn't this completely offending Luo Sheng? Yeah, this way of tearing your face, although relieved, is equivalent to pushing yourself to the dead end. Will Luo Sheng let him go? Who knows, let's wait and see the future development. Yu Junqian also turned his head to look at Meng Yang, and then took out his mobile phone and sent a message to Meng Yang, saying that when the exam was over, they found a place to sit down and talk, but Meng Yang had blacked him, not at all will receive his message. Meng Yang is looking at his tablet computer attentively, but he is not reviewing, but studying the terrain of a mountain in a certain country. After a soft music sounded in the classroom, all the students immediately put away their phones and took out the tablet computer. After the test content had been sent to all of them, the network was cut off, as long as the answers were filled out within the specified time, and then went to the podium on teleportation, they can leave. Yu Junqian wanted to concentrate on the exam, but because of his boredom, he couldn't concentrate. In the original 1.hour exam time, Meng Yang took only half an hour to submit the answer and then left the classroom. Meng Yang found that after his rebirth, his brain became particularly flexible, which felt very good. After two consecutive days of examinations, Yu Junqian failed to find an opportunity to chat with Meng Yang, and Meng Yang would not be able to give him the opportunity to listen to those boring nonsense. After two days of examinations, Meng Yang went abroad. In the previous life, Meng Yang was hiding in Tibet, thinking that no one would know him when he was hiding in a remote area, but because he got lost, he broke into a forest resort and met the man. At that time, Meng Yang hadn't had time to see the man's appearance. He just glanced at him and fainted in front of him. Meng Yang was taken in by the man and spent more than a year together. Although in this year, Meng Yang had several months without saying a word, the man never forced him just tell him what you want to stay or leave. When staying with the man, Meng Yang had an inexplicable sense of security. He didn't know why. He just thought that the man could protect himself, and then he stayed. In the more than one year, Meng Yang was even more incredible that he fell in love with the man, although the man gave a very indifferent feeling, and his legs were disabled, he could only sit in a wheelchair. Half of his face was disfigured, but every time he looked at him, Meng Yang felt the man's great charm and couldn't help falling in love with him. And Meng Yang also felt that the man also fell in love with him, just hiding and enduring his feelings. Because the man is not a gentle person, but he is getting better and better for him. Meng Yang didn't even want to hate or prove anything. He just wanted to stay with the man all his life and live a life full of security and calm and leisure. But Luo Xing suddenly appeared, breaking his life like a dream. At first, Meng Yang thought that Luo Xing came to find himself. Later, he learned that Luo Xing was actually looking for the man, and that man was Luo Xing's father. Luo Xing bumped into Meng Yang, and he was also very surprised. Then, while the man was not there, Luo Xing decided to completely cover the fact that Yu Junqian framed Meng Yang and decided to let Meng Yang, who had been gone for a year, disappear completely in this world. On. He filled Meng Yang with poison, and then let his men take the dying Meng Yang to a mountain far away from the resort, and threw him under the cliff that no one had ever visited. However, because Meng Yang was blocked by a big tree, he did not die, and he spent fifteen winters alone under the cliff. Supporting Meng Yang's survival, in addition to the renewed hatred, he also believes that the man will find him. But he waited fifteen years as soon as he waited, and Meng Yang failed to wait until the man came to him. Before rebirth, Meng Yang lay in the cave and lost his life, and then he had a very strange dream. He dreamed that the world he was in was actually the world that was created, and Yu Junqian and Luo Sheng were the protagonists of this world. 
He was one of the tragedy cannons used to set off the two of them. Although he did not dream about all the content in the book, he also knew the approximate content. The reason why the man did not come to him was because the man was going to disclose that Luo Sheng was not his biological son, and found enough evidence, help him prove innocence, but he was killed by Luo Sheng's grandfather before he was going to do these things. Luo Sheng realized that he was not born of the man after the man died, but he still inherited all the property of the man, and after inheriting the Luo family property, he and Yu Junchen lived a happy and happy life. Meng Yang did not know whether the dream was true or false. After all, in that dream, only the thing about the man was the most detailed and clear. Perhaps it was only because he loved the man so much. But no matter whether it is true or false, it is necessary to verify it to get the answer. Since he has been reborn, then in this life, there will be revenge and grace. Yi Yu came to a small country called Ovis. In this country, there are many ski enthusiasts coming here in winter. The man, Luo Xiao, and Meng Yang learn from their dreams. The situation about Luo Xiao is that Luo Xiao will drive uphill and ski on his own in these few days, but suddenly a headache occurs and appears. In a semi-dot-comat state, the car rushed down the mountain. Although the mountain was not high, Luo Xiao finally survived. However, his legs were disabled and half of his face was destroyed. Since then, few people have seen him. Meng Yang felt that no matter whether it was his personal experience in his last life or what he learned from his dream, Luo Xiao was a very powerful person. Such a powerful person should not have such an ending. He always feels that he it was the result of forced death. The feeling is that Luo Xiao's power is to create a business empire for Luo Sheng to inherit. When Luo Sheng grows to be able to inherit all this, Luo Xiao's existence is useless, so he must die. Luo Xiaoming knew that Luo Sheng was not his biological son, but he never took it through. Luo Sheng inherited everything Luo Xiao felt at ease. Meng Yang rented a villa near the snow mountain, then drove at the intersection every day and waited until returning to the residence in the afternoon. Meng Yang was very nervous. He was worried that he would miss the opportunity to save Luo Xiao. Although he didn't dream about the specific day, he could tell the approximate time Luo Xiao was driving based on the angle of the sun he dreamed about, and he knew exactly what kind of car he was driving, even the license plate number. Meng Yang was holding a thermos, drinking hot water, and carefully looking at each car driving past them. When he saw the exact car in his dream, he immediately put down the thermos and started the car to catch up. When he got closer and closer to the car in front, after seeing clearly the license plate number of the car in front, his hands and nervous trembling started. Meng Yang honked his horn hard and wanted Luo Xiao to stop, but Luo Xiao not only did not stop the car, but also drove faster and faster. Meng Yang knew that Luo Xiao must have had a headache, and he was already in a semi-dot-comatose state, so he used the accelerator as a brake. Meng Yang was nervous and anxious, his palms began to sweat, but if he could end even change Luo Xiao's fate, what was the point of his rebirth? In any case, even if he bet on his own life, he must change Luo Xiao's fate. Meng Yang accelerated over Luo Xiao's car, trying to make Luo Xiao wake up by collision, but Meng Yang tried to crash several times, and Luo Xiao's car did not slow down. Seeing that there is a curve ahead, if Luo Xiao does not stop, the car will rush out. Meng Yang can only turn the direction while slamming into Luo Xiao's car. After a certain distance, the two cars collided with the nearby mountain wall. Meng Yang almost fell into a coma. He felt the blood on the right side of his forehead. Chapter 6 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Second. Married wives of wealthy old men. Six Meng Yang's head hit the mountain wall, and Luo Xiao's car's head hit half the mountain wall and half hit Meng Yang's car. When Meng Yang's car hit the mountain wall, because of a violent collision, his forehead hit the glass and kept flowing down. He felt dizzy and felt pain at the same time, but finally succeeded in making Luo Xiao's car stop. Just now, Luo Xiao suddenly fell into darkness during a severe headache. 
He tried hard to open his eyes, but it was completely dark in front of him. He felt something hit him. He thought he had a bad headache. The illusion he produced, after he felt a more violent collision, his consciousness that was about to disappear gradually came back, and then his vision became clear. After seeing clearly what was happening in front of him, Luo Xiu quickly got out of the car, walked to Meng Yang's car, opened his door, and saw Meng Yang's forehead bleeding, sitting with his eyes closed. Immediately took out his mobile phone to call someone over, then bent over to check on Meng Yang's situation. Meng Yang opened his eyes hard, glanced at his face, and then fell into a coma with peace of mind. And Meng Yang's eyes gave Luo Xiu's heart a shaking feeling that puzzled him. In order to prevent Meng Yang from freezing, Luo Xiu temporarily closed the door, and then turned his head to look at the curve not far in front. If his car was not forced to stop by the people in the car, he is now connected. Leading people down the mountain, maybe they are now dead. In other words, the man in the car saved his life. The fact that Luo Xiu clenched his fists tightly, and almost passed away, was in front of his eyes. Even he would feel scared. Luo Xiu's villa was not far from here. His bodyguard arrived quickly. Luo Xiu carefully pulled Meng Yang out of the car, and then let the driver drive to the hospital at the fastest speed. Luo Xiu held Meng Yang in his arms. After the bodyguard opened the medicine box, he personally helped Meng Yang to deal with the wound on his forehead. After he applied a hemostatic medicine cloth, he held Meng Yang like a child. Looking at Meng Yang with his eyes closed, Luo Xiu was very worried and annoyed. The child saved his life, but he almost killed him. Luo Xiu actually went out with his bodyguards most of the time, but sometimes when he went skiing, he wanted to enjoy the feeling of being alone and did not want to be followed by others at all times, so he would occasionally go out without bodyguards. Today, there was a sudden rise, and I wanted to go skiing on the mountain. I drove out without a bodyguard, but the headache suddenly happened. Although his headaches are frequent, he has never been like today. The strong pain makes him already in a semi-dot-coma state. The degree of danger just now can be said that just a little closer, he and the child in his arms are dead. After arriving at the hospital, Luo Xiu asked people to arrange for Meng Yang to do all the inspections. And he also went for a brain examination, because the feeling just now was so strange, he wanted to determine to what extent his headache worsened. If this happens frequently in the future, then he can only when I go out, I always take the bodyguard with me. Meng Yang felt a little uncomfortable, like a hangover, a headache, and some nausea. He opened his eyes and had some ghosting at first. After blinking his eyes for a few times, his vision slowly became clear. How does it feel? Is it uncomfortable? Luo Xiu has been guarding Meng Yang, waiting for him to wake up. Meng Yang looked at Luo Xiu's face, thinking in a trance, this is the man he waited for 15 years. In this life, his face has not been destroyed, and his legs can walk. It is really good. Now Luo Xiu, when they met with their last life, looked like they were not the same person at all. Luo Xiu's face is deep, handsome and handsome, tall and strong, and his body is perfect. Thinking of the days when the two of them lived together in the previous life, complex emotions surging out again, making Meng Yang's eyes gradually wet. Does it hurt? Luo Xiu looked at how Meng Yang was about to cry, thinking he was just because his body was uncomfortable. He couldn't help feeling guilty. Meng Yang shook his head gently, indicating that he was not uncomfortable. Don't be afraid, the doctor has done a full dot body examination for you, saying that you have no injuries other than the wound on your forehead. After the wound on your forehead is healed, it will be fine. Luo Xiu comforted softly. Meng Yang nodded slightly again, then closed his eyes and continued to sleep. Luo Xiu let the hospital arrange the best ward for Meng Yang, as well as the best treatment and care. In the next few days, Meng Yang could only rest in bed and undergo various examinations to determine his head no other damage caused by the strong impact. 
The doctors also assured Meng Yang that they would use the best medicine to ensure that his forehead would not leave scars. Meng Yang felt that staying in this ward was no different from staying in a hotel. There was an on-dot demand service, and Luo Xiu would visit him every day. The most regrettable thing is that he missed the exam of Sun Yi University he wanted to study. He originally thought that after he changed Luo Xiu's fate of falling over the mountain when he overturned his car, he had time to rush back to take the exam, but he did not expect to suffer by himself. He was injured and had to stay for treatment and examination. Thank you for saving me. Luo Xiu thanked Meng Yang again. You should already know who I am. Meng Yang said, leaning on the bed and looking at Luo Xiu. Luo Xiu did know everything about Meng Yang, including his love relationship with Luo Xin before. When he saw Meng Yang's information, he was quite surprised, mainly because he did not expect such a coincidence. The person who rescued him would actually be Luo Xing's former lover, and broke up with Luo Xing in a very unpleasant situation. But what puzzled him was that Meng Yang should not be in this country at this time. After all, it's time for the domestic universities to start the exam, and Meng Yang appeared just to save him. How do you want me to repay you? Luo Xiu looked at Meng Yang and asked. Dot, pay back. Meng Yang really hadn't thought about the problem. The life dot saving grace should be repaid, as long as it is what I can do, I can help you achieve it. Luo Xiu thought, if he really rushed down the mountain, even if he was lucky, he would be sure without half of his life, he is the one who doesn't like to owe human favors, let alone the life dot saving grace, he must pay it back. I. I'll think about it before I tell you. Meng Yang has a feeling of picking up the wishing lamp. After all, the chairman of the Luo group, what he can do, is really more, he really wants just think about it. I have to go back to China tomorrow to deal with some important things. Do you go back with me, or do you stay here to recuperate, and then go back when you are better? Luo Xiu asked. I'll go back with you. Meng Yang replied immediately that Luo Xiu had returned home. What's the point of staying here? The next day, Meng Yang took Luo Xiu's private plane and returned to China with him. Luo Xiu knew that Meng Yang had already sold the house. He currently does not have his own residence, and his relationship with his family is very stiff. Meng Yang was injured because he rescued him. He is obliged to take care of his post-injury conditioning. However, according to his previous personality, he will definitely send Meng Yang to the hotel, and then let people take care of him and send him on time. He went to the hospital for testing until he was fully recovered. But looking at the wet eyes of Meng Yang's deer, and the pitiful appearance of being listless because of injuries, he then produced emotions that surprised him and brought Meng Yang home directly for care. Meng Yang was also surprised that Luo Xiu would actually take him back to the main Luo family house in Longling Mountain, and he did not know how he thought about the plans and arrangements in the future. In Luo Xiu's eyes, he was listless and a little pitiful. Luo Xiu explained to the housekeeper Uncle Yuan that Meng Yang would stay in the main house and let him and his servants take good care of Meng Yang, let him take care of the injuries, and send Meng Yang to the hospital for examination on time. Although this is the main residence of the Luo family, it was not from the Luo family ancestors, but was purchased by Luo Xiu himself. The entire mountain is Luo Xiu's personal property. Meng Yang thought, since it was Luo Xiu who let him live, then he would have settled down as soon as he came, and he would have lived with peace of mind, and he still wanted to see, Luo Xing knew what he would be after he came in. Kind of Expression Chapter 7 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Rich men's second married couple 7 After all, Meng Yang had a relationship with Luo Sheng, and he still had a certain understanding of him. Luo Sheng was raised by his grandfather and grew up and returned to Luo's house when he was an adult, but he did not go home every day because he was in there is also a house outside. Lord Luo's house is so big, even if the Lord is under the same roof, he will not necessarily meet. Therefore, Meng Yang thought that he could live with Luo Sheng for at least a few days. But the next morning, 
when Meng Yang and Luo Xiu had breakfast together, Luo Xing's team seemed to have something to say to Luo Xiu, but after he saw Meng Yang, he left in amazement. 2. Why are you here? Luo Sheng, who came back to God, looked at Meng Yang and asked, Who allows you to come? Meng Yang did not answer him, but deliberately looked at Luo Xiu with innocent and overwhelmed eyes. He is my guest. I live here upon my invitation. Do you have any comments? Luo Xiu looked at Luo Sheng with a cold face. Luo Sheng listened to Luo Xiu's words, and he was even more surprised, and then said angrily. Father, did he tell you something? I have broken up with him. No matter what he said, it was all lies. Don't believe him. I know he has broken up with you. I stayed with him and it has nothing to do with you. You don't need to be passionate. If you don't want to see him, don't come back. Luo Xiu hated Luo Xing The mother and grandfather's family did not like Luo Xing much, but it was not until when Luo Sheng was not his biological son. Father, you can't leave him, you don't know what kind of person he is. I will say it one last time. He is my guest. If you dare to be rude to him, don't step into this house again. Luo Xiu didn't have any expression on his face or even showed anger, but his imposing manner had already made Luo Xing feel afraid. He didn't dare to express his opinion anymore. He could only clench his fist tightly, and then used his angry eyes. Staring at Meng Yang ruthlessly. Uncle Luo, Meng Yang looked at Luo Xiu and said. Luo Xing doesn't want to see me, and I don't want to see him either. I might as well go to a hotel. You live here, you don't have to go anywhere. Luo Xiu has been in charge of the Luo group for many years, and has been used to making arrangements by himself and others to implement it. Now in his mind, Meng Yang is only a junior, children should be to be obedient and stay here to receive the best care is the best arrangement for him. Then, can I go to meet my friend today? I haven't seen him for many days, and he is very worried about me. Meng Yang asked Luo Xiu because he knew that without Luo Xiu's permission, he might can't leave here. Your injury is not completely good, don't go out for too long, or let your friends come to see you. Luo Xiu said. I'll go out for a little while and come back with a few words after meeting. Meng Yang said immediately. Luo Xing stood aside, neither leaving nor sitting down, because he had something to say to Luo Xiu, but he didn't want to sit at the same table with Meng Yang. Luo Xiu and Meng Yang directly ignored his existence. The two continued to eat breakfast and looked at the very harmonious atmosphere, which made Luo Xing feel angry. It was his home, but he became out of place. Luo Xiu glanced at the time and got up to go to the company. Uncle Yuan took him out, leaving only Meng Yang and Luo Sheng in the restaurant, as well as several servants standing next to him. I really haven't seen someone as shameless as you, no matter how you convince my father to let you in, and no matter what your purpose is, I warn you, you better get out of it quickly, never again appeared in front of me, otherwise I will make you regret it. Luo Xing warned with fierce eyes looking at Meng Yang. Meng Yang took a sip of milk and wiped his lips with a napkin. He stood up and looked at Luo Sheng and said. If I live here and make you feel very annoying and angry, then I will live more happily. And you seem to there is no self.knowledge. Uncle Luo is not only the owner of the Luo group, but also the head of the Luo family, but also the owner of Longling Mountain. He invited me to stay. What qualifications do you have to object? I am curious and very curious. Looking forward to what you will do to make me regret it, Luo Sheng looked at the back of Meng Yang's departure, and his anger was so high that he wanted to rush over and throw him out. Meng Yang asked Uncle Yuan to prepare a car for him, and then drove to pick up Lu Yunjing himself. As soon as Lu Yunjing got on the bus, he saw the wound medicine cloth attached to Meng Yang's forehead. He froze for a while and asked, what happened to your forehead? A little injury, it will be better soon. Meng Yang said while driving the car. I said that there is something important about you. Do you have to go abroad when the major colleges are taking exams? 
Are you not going to college? Did you say you wanted to be admitted to Sanya University before? What time are you going to prepare for the exam time? Choose a normal university to study. Or do you plan to take the exam next year? I will go to some perfume competitions this year. If I have good luck, maybe I can be accepted as a student by a master, and I can get a special entrance exam opportunity. If I don't have this luck, I will take the test next year. Meng Yangs I am also very sorry that I missed the exam of Sanya University, but I am still very confident to participate in the competition. You may not know one thing. Yu Junchen and his mother, as well as your dad and your aunt, uncle and aunt, have lived in Luo Xing's villa. Your dad told people everywhere that you are not filial and have no conscience, yet said to Su Yu. Meng Yang sneered and said, What do you tell me? Tell me not to support him. I am only 19 years old and still studying. He doesn't have 70 or 80 years of life and can't take care of himself. After a few decades, he will sue me I will give him some money every month according to the amount prescribed by law. In his previous life, Meng Yang had completely chilled his dad. This life was just a sever ties with his dad, and it was already a matter of father and son. There is one more thing. Luo Sheng and Yu Junchen, the two of them, are about to get engaged. I asked someone to ask me, Luo Sheng is to prevent Yu Junchen from being looked down upon because of his reputation as a foster. So I tried very hard to get his grandfather's consent, as if to agree with his grandfather's request, and Yu Junchen was one of the most valued students of Master Su Wanya now, and was among all the students admitted to the School of Fragrance at Xinya University, the one with the best grades has already been valued by the college before the school starts, so Luo Sheng's grandfather will agree to their engagement. Yu Junchen is indeed very talented and very hardworking in terms of perfume. Meng Yang thought to himself, but to what extent he can do this in Junchen, he will wait and see. But whether they can get engaged smoothly or not is not necessarily, after all, Luo Sheng is the Luo family and the only son of his father. His grandfather agreed that he was engaged to Yu Junchen, and his father would not necessarily agree. But even if Luo Sheng he my father disagreed, at least Luo Sheng had already proved his sincerity and determination for Junchen. Those friends who had a good relationship with us in the past now turned around Yu Jun Chen, this is reality. It wasn't a particularly good friend. We can't control how they do their business. Meng Yang had already recognized those people when he was in his previous life. His anger and sadness were all things of the previous life. Now he doesn't have any a feeling of. Luo Sheng has already spoken and said that he will never let you go. Your company will become very difficult next. You don't need to worry, I know. Since Meng Yang has torn open his face with Luo Sheng and Yu Junchen, he has already prepared Luo Sheng for his company, but he is also the one who saved Luo Xiu. Luo Xiu certainly won't stand idly by. Meng Yang drove the car to the outskirts, stopped the car on the side of an empty road, and looked at the scenery while talking to Lu Yunjing. At this time, a black car looking very handsome stopped in front of them and walked down from the car. Yo, you two, are you looking at the scenery here? Xiao Ku walked to the window with a scowling look, and then looked at Meng Yang sarcastically. I heard Luo Sheng was empathizing, and I dumped you, I I want to ask, you are in a mood now. Go. Lu Yunjing saw Xiao Ku angry. What's the hurry? Let's have a good chat. Xiao Ku looked at Meng Yang provocatively and said, I'm really curious about what kind of mood you are now. I've been happy by this thing recently. Do you know? As long as I remember how you maintained Luo Sheng, I feel particularly funny. I let you go, did you hear that? Lu Yunjing said loudly. Ah, uh, tell me, how do you feel now? Xiao Ku pretended not to hear Lu Yunjing's voice and continued to provoke Meng Yang. Meng Yang gave Xiao Ku a blank expression, then opened the car door and walked down. Xiao Ku stepped back two steps, and then looked at Meng Yang with both hands. Meng Yang stared at him for a while after standing in front of him, and then punched him suddenly, 
beating on Xiao Ku's face. Xiao Ku didn't expect Meng Yang to start, so he fell to the ground unguarded. Dare you dare to deal with me? Xiao Ku was immediately angry, immediately stood up to return, but was kicked by Meng Yang on his stomach and sat on the ground again. Meng Yang stepped on Xiao Ku's stomach and looked down at him. Lu Yunjing immediately got off the bus to stop Meng Yang. Meng Yang, forget it, he is cheap, don't follow him. Xiao Ku felt that he had lost his face and became more angry. He shook Meng Yang's leg vigorously and wanted to fight back when he got up, but he was not Meng Yang's opponent at all and could only be beaten unilaterally. Meng Yang grabbed the clothes on Xiao Ku's chest and dragged him a few steps, then he threw him his car and made a loud noise. Meng Yang opened the door of the back seat of his car, threw him into the car with kicks, then pulled out his belt, tied his hands to the armrests above the window, and then opened the door of the driver's seat and sat in. You let me go. Xiao Ku struggled hard and scolded. Untie me, otherwise I won't let you go, have you heard? Meng Yang, what are you going to do? Lu Yunjing walked over quickly, but before he had finished speaking, Meng Yang had already drove away. He could only go back to Meng Yang's car and drive with him. Go up. Lu Yunjing was very worried that Meng Yang would really treat Xiao Ku in one fell swoop, and the Xiao family was not easy to provoke. If Meng Yang really hurt Xiao Ku, things would get worse. Chapter 8 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Second. Married married wife of a wealthy old man. Eight not far in front is one of the city's largest racing tracks. Xiao Ku often comes here to practice cars and race with others. He also formed a team of his own and occasionally participated in some more formal competitions. This kind of car racing is especially money. Burning and exciting. Many rich young masters like to play this. Meng Yang and Luo Xing also met at the racing track. Xiao Ku, with his hands tied, has been yelling and yelling some unpleasant words, and also threatened Meng Yang to let him go as soon as possible. Meng Yang drove the car into the racing field as if he had not heard it. Generally, when you come to the racing track to practice cars or race cars, you have to show your membership card at the gate, but Xiao Ku's father is one of the shareholders of the racing track. The guards at the gate know Xiao Ku's car, so Meng Yang drove directly into the car. They there was no obstruction in the past. They thought it was Master Xiao who had something angry to vent their emotions. They should stay close. Curved roads, ramps, mountain roads, quagmire, sandy ground, Meng Yang drove Xiao Ku's car, flicking and drifting and flying, and felt the thrill of showing the car skills and enjoying the excitement. Although Xiao Ku often raced himself, he was scared and called a few times. He personally felt that the car was able to fly so high and so far, several times he thought that Meng Yang would hit a boulder on the side of the curve yes, but Meng Yang almost let the car pass by the boulder. In addition to being scared by the speed Meng Yang drove, Xiao Ku was also hit several times on the glass when Meng Yang hurriedly turned, and some of them began to dizzy. After Lu Yunjing drove the car into the racing track, he parked the car on the edge of the field, looked at the huge screen, and immediately dumbfounded, thinking when Meng Yang's car skills became so good. It's almost the same as those professional racing drivers. The people in the monitoring room of the racing track also exclaimed and admired Meng Yang's car skills. Oh oh. What's the matter? Did Master Xiao take the wrong medicine? It has become so powerful. The cornering speed is too great, it is just a professional driver level. It's so cool to fly over this ramp. It's going to fall. It's falling. It's over. Awesome. I said, is the person driving the car really Master Xiao? Shouldn't anyone else be here? It's possible that yesterday's car training was not as powerful as it was today, and suddenly it was so powerful, unscientific, ENV, yeah, shouldn't he be driving himself? After Meng Yang drove all the tracks, he directly drove the car out of the racing track, and Lu Yunjing immediately followed. Xiao Ku gritted his teeth with ugliness. He was holding back the feeling of wanting to vomit. 
His stomach was tumbling, and this was the first time in his life because he was scared by the car. Meng Yang drove the car out of the racing track, stopped again on the side of the road where they started, and after the car was stabilized, Meng Yang got out of the car, opened the back door, untied the straps tied to Xiao Ku's hand, and then removed him from the car dragged down. After Xiao Ku got out of the car, because his legs were soft and his head was still dizzy, his footwork was a little unstable, and he sat directly on the ground. He grabbed his hair with both hands, and the shame made him unable to lift his head. Compared with being beaten by Meng Yang, he was scared and screamed just now, which made him feel ashamed. Lu Yunjing also drove the car over, and Meng Yang walked over and took a bottle of water from the car and opened it for a sip. You. Lu Yunjing wanted to ask Meng Yang, when did his car skills become so powerful, but it was stopped by Meng Yang's eyes. After looking at Xiao Ku, Lu Yunjing did not continue to ask. How do you feel? Meng Yang looked at Xiao Ku and said, Is it exciting? Is it cool? Your car skills are so powerful, why have you never shown it before? Xiao Ku asked doubtfully. In order not to grab Luo Xing's limelight. I won't tell you why, but if you want to know the skills to win Luo Xing in the car, I can tell you. Xiao Ku listened to Meng Yang's words, first froze for a while, and then hesitated for a while while sitting on the ground. He had a holiday with Meng Yang before. Just now he was beaten by Meng Yang again. According to his character, it was absolutely it is impossible to talk to Meng Yang well. But in addition to being scared by Meng Yang's car skills, he was particularly envious of his ability to have such a powerful car skills, and the way to win Luo Sheng was too tempting for him. After hesitating, Xiao Ku stood up and said. If you can really tell me the skills to win Luo Sheng, we haven't happened before, but if you dare to play me. I need to play you this way. Wouldn't it be more fun if I wanted to play you, tie you in the car, and go to the racing track for a few laps? Meng Yang said. Xiao Ku turned his head and thought of his screaming just now, the embarrassing feeling popped up again, but he still couldn't wait to know the answer. Then you said, how can you use skill while racing has won Luo Sheng? The solution is simple. You come to the competition and I will win him. But I will drive your car to compare with him. I will not show up personally, and you can't tell anyone else that I won him. Meng Yang said. No. Xiao Ku immediately vetoed. Either you join our team to win him openly, or tell me the way, I go to win him in an upright manner, this way of finding a substitute for cheating, I Xiao Ku disdain, to be known, I what other faces will you race with in the future? I didn't say, let you race with him in your own name, don't you have a team? It's not enough to make an appointment with him in the name of the team. When I win him, you tell other people, and also Luo Sheng said that it was not you who won, but your team, who won the group of Luo Sheng, as long as they didn't mention me, did the word games understand. And I, am not a professional racer, I didn't even participate in the race after all, even if someone finds that I won Luo Sheng, what impact will it have on you and your team's reputation? Why don't you just win him brightly, and with your car skills, you must win him steadily, just to be able to retaliate his empathy, is it better for you? Xiao Ku said doubtfully. Of course I have reasons why I can't show up. As for the reasons, I won't tell you. If you agree or disagree, just give a sentence. Xiao Ku hesitated again. If you agree with my proposal, I will join your team and will teach you how to improve your car skills until you can win Luo Sheng by yourself. Meng Yang finally threw the biggest bait. I agree, that's it. Xiao Ku really agreed immediately. If I win him for you right away, others will surely find it strange. I will go to the racing circuit to train for you every once in a while. You put a little news out and you say you have a good instructor and then go to the competition with Luo Sheng in the name of the team. Meng Yang said. Xiao Ku was also very simple, did not say much, after leaving the contact information, he turned and left. After Xiao Ku left, Lu Yunjing looked at Meng Yang and said. You really intend to join hands with him to deal with Luo Sheng? 
He is sometimes like a lunatic and it is difficult to be reliable. Crazy is crazy, but actually a very nice person, he is very loyal to his friends, he will not do the kind of thing that stabs him in the back, he has his own principles and bottom line, and Luo Sheng's betrayal of others he is straightforward and strong, and compared with the person who is hypocritical and disgusting, Yu Junchen is worthy of being trusted and suitable for being a friend. Do you know him so much? Lu Yunjing had more doubts in his heart. Also, your car skills. I know you are puzzled. If there is a chance in the future, I should think about how to explain it to you. Now, don't ask, because I can't explain it to you. Meng Yang didn't want to deceive Lu Yunjing, but he can't tell him about his rebirth, so he can't say anything for a while and explain nothing. Come on, wait until you want to say it. Lu Yun said with a sigh. Meng Yang sent Lu Yunjing home, and drove back to the main house of Luo family in Longling Mountain. Regarding Xiao Ku, Meng Yang said that he is worthy of trust because in his previous life, after breaking with Luo Sheng, Meng Yang was really not talented in perfumery. No matter how hard he tried, he was always crushed by Yu Chin Chin. Without raising his head, he wanted to win Luo Sheng through Luo Sheng's favorite racing car to find a little sense of presence and self-esteem. Now think about it. Fortunately, he worked car skills in his previous life. Only in this life can Luo Xiu be successfully saved. Otherwise, he will probably fall down with Luo Xiu. In the previous life, because of chance, Meng Yang and Xiao Ku became friends. When Meng Yang was most depressed, in addition to Lu Yunjing always helping him, Xiao Ku also helped him a lot. But in the end, neither of them had a good result. In this life, besides changing his own destiny, Meng Yang will also do his best to change the destiny of both of them. Chapter 9 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Second. Hand married wife of a wealthy old man, 9 in the evening. When Luo Xiu returned to the main house and was about to return to his room to rest, Uncle Yuan reported to him. Sir, Master Meng Yang fell asleep with only a little porridge at dinner. He looked uncomfortable. It looks like I have asked the doctor to come over and show it to him. After checking, the doctor said that it was fine, but I must take a good rest and not overwork. Luo Xiu frowned, then walked to Meng Yang's room. When Meng Yang was sleeping, he felt someone coming in, and immediately opened his eyes alertly, and saw that the person who came in was Luo Xiu, then he sat up and looked at Luo Xiu, said. Uncle Luo, you're back. Luo Xiu sat down beside the bed and looked at Meng Yang's uncomfortable complexion and asked, What did you do today? I. I chatted with my friends, and then I came back without doing anything else. Maybe it was a wind blowing outside. After I came back, I suddenly felt a little uncomfortable, but Uncle Yuan has called the doctor to show me the doctor said that it's enough to take a rest. Meng Yang didn't want Luo Xiu to know about his car. He hit Xiao Ku for getting Xiao Ku into the car, and then he was highly concentrated and bumped in the car, so he felt a little uncomfortable when he came back. Before you get hurt, don't go out again. Luo Xiu said habitually with a command tone. He knew that Meng Yang is now at an age when he likes to play with friends, but conditioning and rest after injury are very important. He feels that Meng Yang Yin is too young, so he doesn't understand and doesn't care about it. If he leaves Sequeli, he will definitely regret it in the future. As the person who caused Meng Yang's injury, he has the responsibility to ask him to take a good rest in the attitude of his elders. Dot, I know. Meng Yang made a submissive and obedient look. You are absolutely safe here, no one can hurt you, if you are not assured, I will let people stay outside. When Luo Xiu came in, he saw that Meng Yang was still in his sleep a high degree of alertness is also a sign of insecurity. No, just let Uncle Yuan lock the door. Meng Yang was actually under the cliff, and was used to being alert even when he was asleep. The two sat for a while so quietly. Meng Yang leaned on the head of the bed, his face pale and sickly, and once again in Luo Xiu's cold heart, he induced emotions of sympathy and pity. 
he thought that the child was also pitiful. Although there were loved ones, they were all vampires. It was better than nothing. And Luo Xiu also had many loved ones. After so many years alone, he could understand Meng Yang's feelings, but he couldn't help feeling more sorry for Meng Yang. Have a good rest. Luo Xiu got up and left. Uncle Luo. Meng Yang halted Luo Xiu again, and then he looked like he was saying nothing. Luo Xiu looked at Meng Yang suspiciously, waiting for him to continue speaking. I. Meng Yang looked up at Luo Xiu and said. When I was abroad, you said that in order to repay me for saving you, you can help me accomplish what you can do. Have you thought about what you want me to do for you? Luo Xiu asked. I hope, you can marry me. Meng Yang looked at Luo Xiu seriously and said. It only takes three years to repay me with a three-dot-year marriage. Do you agree? Marriage. Luo Xiu looked at Meng Yang with unexpected eyes and said, Marriage is not a trivial matter, whether it is for me or for you. I can't agree with your request or change it to another one well, I can give you half of my personal property. Half of your property is a fatal temptation for anyone, but it is not for me. Meng Yang smiled and said. I only want three years of marriage life, three years later we will I have no other requirements for divorce than this. Although this is my only requirement, you can agree or disagree. I will not force it, and I know that it will not force you, so it is up to you to decide. Do you want to revenge Luo Sheng by marrying me? Luo Xiu looked at Meng Yang and asked. Meng Yang thought about it and said, this is indeed what I can think of, the best way to retaliate against him. Meng Yang felt that Luo Xiu felt that he wanted to retaliate Luo Sheng, so the three-dot-year marriage request that Luo Xiu made was perhaps easier for Luo Xiu to agree. Because he loved the man deeply, he waited for him for fifteen years under the cliff, but the man has not yet fallen in love with him, so he gave himself three years to let the man fall in love with himself. He had lived with Luo Xiu for more than a year in the previous life, and he felt that Luo Xiu actually liked him, and he was also very confident that Luo Xiu could fall in love with him. But experience tells him that love can be cultivated, but it cannot be forced. If Luo Xiu has not fallen in love with him in these three years, then he is willing to give up and guard him as a friend. Well, I'll think about it, and you'll think about it again. We'll discuss this matter after your injury is cured. Luo Xiu said after looking at Meng Yang for a while. Okay. Meng Yang immediately agreed. Luo Xiu turned and left Meng Yang's room. After lying down, Meng Yang closed his eyes and recalled his previous experience with Luo Xiu. At first, he was very afraid of Luo Xiu, not only because Luo Xiu's appearance was destroyed, but also because Luo Xiu's body exuded approaching indifference. After a few months of getting along, Meng Yang felt Luo Xiu's tender side, and then couldn't help being attracted by his charm and fell in love with him. With Luo Sheng's lessons, Meng Yang was afraid to love anymore, so he kept restraining himself, but when he felt that Luo Xiu actually liked him, he felt the joy of happiness for the first time in his life. Love and happiness that failed to start in the previous life, this life, he will do his best to achieve success. After Luo Xiu returned to the room to wash, he lay in bed and prepared to sleep. He thought about Meng Yang's words, and then Meng Yang's delicate and tender face appeared in his mind. Although he can get married at 19, he is still too small compared to him. But since he wanted to take revenge on Luo Sheng, it is not impossible to have a marriage with the name of a husband and wife, but it is only three years. After all, he never owes humanity. In the next few days, Meng Yang was very serious in resting and recuperating, even the door of the room hardly went out. Lu Yunjing called him to ask him out, and he refused because he wanted to recover the injury as soon as possible, and then get Luo Xiu's reply as soon as possible. Luo Xiu was very busy this time, and he did not return to the main house every day, so Meng Yang did not see him every day. When Meng Yang finally didn't need to put a wound medicine cloth on his forehead, he couldn't wait to call Luo Xiu and said that his wounds were healed. 
In fact, even if Luo Xiao did not return to the main house every day, the housekeeper would report to him on Meng Yang's situation, so he knew that Meng Yang just didn't need to put on the wound medicine and medicine cloth, it wasn't completely good. Reply as soon as possible. Because there was no time to return to the main house, Luo Xiao asked Uncle Yuan to arrange for the driver to send Meng Yang to the headquarters of the Luo group. After entering the office of Luo Xiao, Meng Yang sat on the sofa and waited. After processing the documents at hand, Luo Xiao got up and walked across to Meng Yang to sit down. Luo Xiao looked at Meng Yang and said, Three years of marriage and half of my property, you can only choose the same. If you choose three years of marriage, you must sign a prenuptial agreement, give up the property, I need you to give time, think about it. No need to think about it, I chose a three-year marriage. Meng Yang said immediately. Actually, if you want to take revenge on Luo Sheng, there are other ways besides marrying me, such as holding my money and living under my shelter, I am happier than him. Although he is my son, but you are my life.saving benefactor, and by this alone, I won't let him move you. No matter what your reason for my three-year marriage is, my choice will not change. Meng Yang said firmly. So. Luo Xiao opened a document and put it in front of Meng Yang. Since you insist on your choice, sign this prenuptial agreement. During the marriage, I will bear all your normal expenses. With expenses, you will be given a pocket money every month. After three years, all the property under your name will belong to you. Meng Yang glanced at the amount of pocket money in the prenuptial agreement and couldn't help but raised his eyebrows and said, Uncle Luo really took a generous shot. Compared to the property you refused, this amount of money is not worth mentioning at all. No matter what you say, I will not change my mind. Meng Yang immediately signed the prenuptial agreement and pressed his fingerprint on the electronic file. After signing the prenuptial agreement, the next step is of course to register the marriage. The next day, Meng Yang, who had obtained the marriage certificate, was already a married person, which gave him an unreal feeling like he was dreaming. Meng Yang sat in the car, looked at the marriage certificate in his hands for a while, then slowly turned to look at the man sitting next to him, thinking that he actually married this man and became a legal couple. Luo Xiao also turned his head to look at Meng Yang. He had divorced his ex-wife for more than 10 years. Because it was a commercial marriage, he and his ex-wife were forced by the family to arrange marriage with reluctance. Divorce in Disgust Luo Xiao did not expect that after so many years of divorce, he would marry a boy so much younger than him. Although it was only a three-year married marriage, his second marriage life officially began. After Luo Xiao returned to the company, Meng Yang called Lu Yunjing and said that he had a new residence and asked him to visit his new home. Lu Yunjing really thought that Meng Yang had bought a new house, and asked him to visit and see how. When he knew that Meng Yang was married and was married to Luo Sheng and his dad, he initially thought that Meng Yang was laughing with him, but when he saw the marriage certificate, both of them shocked his chin. It's about to fall. Meng Yang now wants to put all the things put in Lu Yunjing's family, and move them to the Luo family's main house in Longling Mountain. Luo Xiao told him personally that as his legal partner, he was also Longling Mountain in these three years. One of the owners. Meng Yang and Lu Yunjing have already taken the car up the mountain. Coincidentally, today Luo Sheng invited his friends and Yu Junchen friends to play. He purposely brought these people to humiliate Meng Yang. Chapter 10 You are listening at Novel Full.audio. Second. Hand married wife of a wealthy old man. 10 Those who were originally friends of Meng Yang and Lu Yunjing, and those who are all now friends with Jun Chen, are chatting around Yu Jun Chen by the indoor swimming pool in the main house of the Zheng Luo family. Luo Sheng had been in contact with Meng Yang for more than a year before. He had never invited us to come to Luo's main house. Now he has just started to associate with you. Because you invited us to play, the difference is so great. Luo Sheng and Meng Yang are just for fun. They and Jun Chen are dating on the premise of marriage, and they will get engaged soon. 
The difference is of course great. Meng Yang doesn't know too much anymore. Feelings are a matter for both parties. If you don't love, you don't love anymore. In the end, it's so ugly to tear your face. What good is it for him? Isn't it better to get together? Yeah, it's really stupid to anger Luo Sheng after getting together and being together. It was originally because I didn't want to hurt him, so I kept hiding him and wanted to find a suitable opportunity to tell him again, but it still hurt him. Yu Junchen said with a helpless wry smile. After a while, I go and apologize to him again, he should. Should not be so angry anymore. Others looked at each other and thought this was really difficult to accept. If you really do and want to hurt him, you should and do such a betrayal at the beginning. Since you have done everything, do and say anything that does and want to hurt others. Bitch words. But these people, since they have chosen to bow their heads to reality and stand on Yu Junchen's side, of course, they will not say what they really think in their hearts, so they immediately began to change the subject and talk about something else. On Luo Xing's side, his friends are also around him, talking about the various things he has done for Yu Junchen recently. Are you really stuck in this time? Are you really going to get engaged to him? Yes, no matter how much you like him, is it too early to get engaged? I have determined that he is my true love. Except for him, I will not marry anyone else, so it is only early to get engaged. It is not too early. Luo Xing said, and glanced at Jun Jun. But your grandfather agreed, are you sure your father will agree? Yeah, although you grew up beside your grandfather, you are, after all, your grandfather's grandson, not a grandson. In the future, you can inherit only the property of the Luo family. If your father disagrees with you, you and Yu Chen Chen engagement, what are you going to do? Even if you pay Yu Jun Chen to open the company yourself, the gap between you is still too big. From a family perspective, it is really a world apart. Although your father doesn't care about you at all, I think he is unlikely to agree to your engagement with Yu Junchen. Even if it's hard, I will fight for my own happiness even if I work hard. Even if I have more money in my life, what's the point if I can't spend a lifetime with my loved one? I am independent and free first. People, and then my father's son, so I ll take charge of my life, no one wants to interfere with my freedom of marriage. Luo Xing said firmly, my father has only one son like me, and he has not had it for so many years. Remarry, besides me, who else can he inherit to my cousins who do and learn and do nothing but only know how to eat, drink and play. Anyway, I will definitely get engaged to Jun Chen anyway. The others looked at each other again. From Luo Xing's eyes and attitude, they felt that he was really serious this time. Luo Sheng was going to tell Luo Xiao the last time he wanted to get engaged to Yu Junchen, but he was so surprised and angry because he saw Meng Yang that he failed to tell Luo Xiao about this matter. After that, he had been thinking about the reason why Luo Xiao left Meng Yang. He thought this might be the first step in Luo Xiao's opposition to his engagement with Yu Junchen, so he thought that instead of getting Luo Xiao's objection after telling Luo Xiao, it's better to cut it first and let his grandfather help him and Yu Junchen to hold an engagement ceremony. Today, he brought these friends in order to let them humiliate Meng Yang and let Meng Yang himself leave here in shame, but Uncle Yuan told him that Meng Yang went out early in the morning. After the car stopped, Yuan Shu helped Meng Yang to open the door. After Meng Yang and Lu Yunjing got off the bus, they saw standing in two rows and greeted their servants in uniforms. Let's go in and see. Meng Yang said to Lu Yunjing. It is indeed the main house of the Luo family, which is really big enough. Lu Yunjing couldn't help but sighed. This is the real giant. This house is really impressive and oppressive. It seems that other people describe it really. It's not an exaggeration. Ike V heard people say that there is a very beautiful big garden and the sea can be seen from the room. The other side of the mountain is the sea. You can really see the sea in the room. Meng Yang replied and asked Uncle Yuan. Uncle Yuan, is Luo Xing home today? 
Yes, the young master invited some friends to play, entertaining those friends in the indoor pool. Uncle Yuan replied. Oh. Meng Yang smiled, thinking it was a coincidence, and then said. Take me to see them. Uncle Yuan replied respectfully. Yes. Are you sure you are in conflict with him now? Lu Yunjing turned to look at Meng Yang and said. I didn't intend to have a conflict with him. Meng Yang said with a smile. I will stay here from today, and I will not see my head down, so I'll just say hello. Luo Sheng and their group were discussing a swimming competition. Suddenly, Luo Sheng best friends saw Uncle Yuan walking with a few people and said to Luo Sheng, Luo Sheng, your family seems to be a guest. Duck guest. Luo Sheng turned to look around in doubt, thinking that his father was not at home, how come there is a guest suddenly at this time, and even if there is a guest, he should not be brought to the pool, especially if he knows he is entertaining a friend in the case of. Uncle Yuan brought Meng Yang and Lu Yunjing to the side and then retreated to the side. After seeing clearly that the people who came over were Meng Yang and Yu Junqin, everyone was stunned in surprise. Lu Oxing first came back to God, then frowned with displeasure and asked. Have you not rolled yet? Ignoring Luo Sheng, Meng Yang walked directly to the edge of the pool, and then through the glass wall, he looked out and said, I have lived here for so many days. I haven't been to this indoor pool. The scenery outside is really nice. This indoor swimming pool is very large. Although the snow outside has not yet melted, it is very warm inside, and there are many beautiful tropical plants. As soon as Luo Xing saw Meng Yang, he thought of the embarrassing scene in which he and Yu Junqin were blocked on the bed, and the anger in his heart immediately burned up. You are really brazen enough, you think it's because you don't go here compound with you. Stop dreaming. Yu Junqin saw Luo Xing clenching his fists, immediately hugged his arm, and then looked at Meng Yang and said, Meng Yang, you apologize to Luo Sheng, and then go back with me. You are so dependent on others' homes, it's so unreasonable. Apologize. Meng Yang turned to Yu Junqin and asked with a puzzled expression. Did I ever do something sorry for you? Why should I apologize? Dot. Yu Junqin bowed his head uncomfortably because of Meng Yang's irony. Meng Yang looked at Luo Sheng and Yu Junqin and said, From now on, I will be one of the masters here. Dot. Luo Sheng looked at Meng Yang with a neuropathic look and said, Your brain is broken. Dare to say dreams here. Others couldn't help laughing because of Meng Yang's words, and then looked at Meng Yang with a mocking look. A few friends who had a good relationship with Meng Yang before, felt embarrassed for him, and then persuaded. Meng Yang and Luo Sheng have already broken up with you. It would be too much for you to run into someone's house. Now, go back. Yeah, Meng Yang, even if you do ain't want to accept this fact, Luo Sheng see ain't be with you anymore. If you do ain't apologize, he see ain't get along with you as a friend. These embarrassing words for yourself and embarrassing us. Luo Sheng, it seems that you really hurt him too much. He shouldn't have his brain abnormal. He began to imagine that he has married you and became the master here. Luo Sheng's friend said. He also looks very pitiful, just look at the previous sentiment, let someone send him to the hospital psychiatric examination. You can't be the master here in your life, because I won't marry anyone else except Jun Chen, the most unlikely person is you, either you roll yourself, or I let someone throw you out, yourself choose it. Do you have to marry you to be the host here? Meng Yang said quietly. You are not the real host here. I think you're really having a problem with your brain. Luo Xing said loudly. You'd better get out of here immediately, otherwise I'll throw you out personally. Don't blame me for not leaving you at that time face. Your father is the real owner here. Everything on this mountain belongs to your father's private property. Before you have inherited your father's property, you are not the real owner here. Qualifications let me leave. Meng Yang thought, 
although he did not know why Luo Xiu did not dismantle Luo Sheng for so many years, it was not his biological son's business, but Luo Xiu certainly had his own reasons. He came to undress, but he would never tolerate Luo Sheng to bully him indiscriminately because he was Luo Xiu's son. My father and I are married. I am now his legal partner. I live in my husband's house. Do I still need your permission? Meng Yang said with a smile. The author has something to say. I will take a step first.